you know, you take a look at the um, draft order right now, mm-hmm. and there are seven teams at two and seven coming into this week. Two of them are going to be here in Munich. And uh, the Patriots currently, based on strength of schedule and other tiebreakers, they currently have the number one overall pick. Right now they've gotten the memo for you, Chris. They've gotten the memo for you. Love it. And um, it could possibly be their two and eight if the Bears get the win that they desperately need. We'll see. And the the Browns are sitting there at two and seven. The Jaguars are at two and seven. The Saints are at two and seven. Any of these teams right now with the Cleveland Browns are on a bye week this week. Jaguars have their backup quarterback. The Saints have their interim head coach right now. The Raiders are on quarterback number what? Three potentially if they go to Desmond Ritter. They're on offensive coordinator number two. It's Norv Turner coming in. Um, You you, you look at these teams and and it sure looks like it's entirely possible you're going to get two and eight out of a most of them out of a bunch yeah. you know the miami dolphins are, are going to be uh they're taking on the rams on a monday night, monday night could yeah. they go to two and seven will levis you just said is going to start for the tennessee titans against the chargers they could be two and seven yep. the jets are three and six going to arizona they could be three and seven now you've said a couple a lot of, of bad teams uh, but the, what, the reason i'm pointing this out is that you know you could potentially one of these two and seven teams win a couple of games and you totally remove yourself from the top 10. Yeah, from, yeah, top You're 10. going from right now, potentially, if, if the Patriots win this weekend in Chicago, you could go from the first overall pick to nine. And, and, and just look at the difference. I know. In, in drafting third and second overall from this past year's draft or the difference between picking seventh and sixth overall or the case of the – the Raiders, the difference between 13th and 12th overall. Also, for me, I, I'm looking at this, uh, the teams behind, New Orleans, Cleveland, Las Vegas Giants, all need quarterbacks, all are going to take quarterbacks next year. They're all trying to move up. We have to get the number one pick. But, I don't know, Drake May can make plays. He's plucky. He's exciting. Right. But He's probably going to win two more games, and that's not going to be good enough for the number one pick. Well, having the number one overall pick with Drake May – is like the greatest oh thing ever. Gosh. Certainly, if you need to, if you need to round he out the rest will. of your roster, yes, yeah, have somebody go and trade for that and trade out. Man. So, just setting the table for for how you've got so many teams bunched at the top of the mm-hmm. draft, and many of them uh, have very difficult games coming up this week and other circumstances of their own creation, based on firing coaches. Um, you know, it's a difference between winning and losing is pretty significant yeah. in terms of building for the future. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.